Introducing the Electronic Train Management System. ETMS is a pilot program that integrates new technology with existing train control and operating systems. ETMS provides a safety overlay, working in conjunction with existing train operations patterns and rules. The train crew still controls the train. ETMS acts as a safety net to prevent track authority and speed limit violations and ultimately reduce the potential for train accidents. ETMS is a sophisticated system that uses the latest in digital wireless communication technology to transmit train movement related information between locomotives and the Network Operations Center, or NOC, computer systems. ETMS integrates and interlocks the train information with data from the Global Positioning System, or GPS, to create, in effect, a safety overlay for train operations. ETMS takes in the movement-related information, like authority limits, speed limits, and work zones through both Wi-Fi and radio frequency communication networks and displays it in a graphic interface inside the locomotive cab. Let's look at how it works. Just before a train leaves the terminal area, relevant back office information transmits securely over a digital wireless network from the NOC to the cab of the locomotive. Information about the train consist, the track database, speed restrictions, movement authorities, and work zones loads into the onboard ETMS computer. As the train moves out, the locomotive uses GPS in combination with the geographic track database to determine its location on the track. The computer integrates the information downloaded from the back office computer systems with its position on the track to ensure adherence with train movement information. At the same time, the ETMS system pings wayside devices along the track through a low-band wireless communication network checking for broken rails, proper switch alignment, and signal aspect information. As the train moves, the computer constantly calculates a warning and braking curve based on the train consist, its speed, change in elevation, and upcoming limits on speed, movement authorities, work zones, signals, and switch positions. The warning curve provides a margin of safety to warn the crew so they can slow or stop the train before it reaches the braking curve boundary. For example, as the train's warning curve reaches the limit of the train's authority, the train crew receives a warning on the onboard computer to stop. If the locomotive engineer does not stop the train before the stopping distance is reached, ETMS will automatically use enforcement braking and stop the train with a full service brake application. The graphic interface in the locomotive cab integrates all the information gathered from the office, wayside, GPS, and the locomotive itself. Let's look at an example of what the crew sees on ETMS as their train approaches a speed restriction. Inside the locomotive cab, the engineer sees the display of the track ahead represented by the green line. As the train approaches a speed restricted area of track, that area is represented by a yellow line. When the locomotive reaches the warning curve distance of the speed restriction, if the locomotive's predicted speed is three miles per hour or more over the speed limit in the restricted area, the system displays a warning and an audible alert. If the speed reaches or exceeds five miles per hour over the restricted speed, the system displays a braking message and applies the brakes. Work zones are another area where ETMS acts as a safety net. ETMS provides an additional layer of protection for the roadway worker by eliminating potential human factor errors surrounding dynamic track conditions and authority limits in work zones. A train cannot enter a work zone without first getting permission from the employee in charge of the work zone. As the train approaches, the onboard ETMS computer automatically seeks permission from the wireless computer terminal of the employee in charge, or EIC. The EIC is prompted to provide permission and any speed restrictions before allowing the train to continue through the work zone. The ETMS onboard computer receives the instructions and permission from the EIC and notifies the locomotive engineer.
It then integrates the electronic instructions with existing movement authorities before moving into the work zone. This layer of electronic confirmation with ETMS protects the track workers on the ground and the crew on the train from potential human factor errors in work zone situations. Safety is a strong part of the culture within BNSF. Our employees are safety conscious in everything they do, but they are also human. BNSF employees uh, are very safe employees in the way they work and their work ethic. Uh, occasionally our employees do lose situational awareness and it's uh, at those times ETMS is designed to protect them and this is one of those uh, steps that we can take that uh, is really going to make a meaningful impact. ETMS, the Electronic Train Management System. Information powering safer transportation.